Narcissists do this every day after you reject their love. Hey there, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day. Today's talk goes into more detail about the complicated behaviors of narcissists that you may have seen but not fully understood. We are looking into what narcissists do every day, especially when they feel like no one is paying attention to them. Prepare to learn some interesting things about self-centered behavior. Have you ever seen an ego do something strange? How do they go from one end to the other so smoothly that you feel unstable? It can be confusing and upsetting when someone suddenly stops caring about something and starts showing complete disregard. This kind of unexpected behavior is a common way for narcissists to get what they want. People who are selfish tend to suddenly stop being interested in someone they used to find interesting. Even though it seems strange, there's a reason for all of this. The person doing this is trying to make the other person feel unstable by making them feel uncomfortable and making them doubt their own worth and confidence. Narcissists need to be told over and over again how valuable they are. They enjoy the game of getting your attention and then acting like they don't care. In this skewed form of self-confidence, they tell themselves and you that your presence doesn't matter. They play with your feelings to show they are in charge, and they get pleasure from seeing how their crazy behavior makes you feel. When a narcissist suddenly stops talking to you or ignoring you, and you react the way they expect you to, nervously questioning their sudden change in behavior and then going after them to find out why, it serves their purpose. This makes them feel important and gives them the approval they want, your care and effort to figure out what went wrong makes them happy. This is exactly how they think people will react when they suddenly stop paying attention after focusing on something for a long time, which is also known as love bombing. Narcissists are very good at this because they know that once they start the silent treatment, all they have to do is watch the drama happen. They wait patiently, guessing how you will behave when you feel anxious. Their plan is for you to be upset and stressed, and they expect you to reach out to them for help or explanation. Their manipulative strategy works most of the time because they get the answer they want when they use the push-pull method with their partners or other people they find interesting. For some people, this cycle can go on forever, leaving them in a constant state of worry and confusion. This is a harsh reality of living with a narcissist. Think of a time when you didn't do what someone expected. Think about what would happen if this person pulled away and showed no interest in you, and you did the same thing back. At first, they might think it's just a phase and think you'll be back soon because they think you love them so much and can't stay away for long. But what if the return that was expected never comes through? What if you keep your distance, act like you don't care, and go on with your life as if nothing has changed? The narcissist starts to feel more and more uncomfortable in these settings. They start to have doubts about what they are doing, how they see things, and even their own beliefs. They are filled with a lot of questions, did I get the case wrong? Maybe they're not as interested as I thought. Could I risk losing them if this act of not caring continues? Because they are selfish, narcissists will often try to get in touch with you again. As soon as they see you, they might act friendlier and more interested, asking about your health and saying, hello, stranger. How are you? What have you been doing? Why didn't you call? Why haven't you tried to get in touch? They don't seem to have been the ones who ignored you at first. After that, they carefully watch your answers to see if you show any signs of being nervous, to see how committed you are, and to see if you care. Their main goal is to find out how interested you are in them. If they think you're not interested, they try even harder to get your attention again, which is called love bombing. They pay you more attention, spend more time with you, and do things to make you feel like you're important. Their main objective is to make you care more about them so that they can keep ignoring you, pulling away, and getting pleasure from your pain and distress. Imagine a situation where the roles are switched. Imagine that a narcissist ignores you, and instead of going after them, you choose to stay away from them. Imagine that they are trying to get away from you, but instead of reaching out, you choose to stay even further away. The narcissist would probably be confused by this behavior, especially if they used to trust you as a reliable source of narcissistic feed. They might become interested in you not because you are playing their game, but because you seem to be great at manipulating them. 
The narcissist may be caught off guard by the sudden change in the situation. In the past, they thought they were smarter, more clever, and better at controlling people than you. They thought they were better than you and saw you only as a tool. So how is it that you're getting ahead of them? The narcissist came at you with complete confidence, sure that you would give in to their charms and count on them more than they did on you. But what they are experiencing is different from what they thought it would be, and they don't understand why. People who are narcissists often get lost in thought if you choose to ignore them, which makes them act more like you're not interested. They want to know why you're acting differently than what they thought you would do. Because they are confused and angry, they may hold anger and fear towards you, which makes them pay more attention to what you do. A narcissist may fall in love with their own source of supply, especially if the source is very good at acting like the narcissist. If you copy their behavior, the narcissist might become obsessed with figuring out why you're doing what you're doing. They are trying to figure out your weak spots and how you are beating them at their own game of manipulation. Because they are so good at dealing with other people, narcissists expect to win every time. As a result, when they fail to achieve a victory, they think about what went wrong and try to fix it. When you're dancing with a narcissist, it can be surprising what happens when you use their strategies. That being said, it's important to remember that this isn't a game and won't work in the long run. A person should try to get away from the setting as their main goal when using this method. When a narcissist meets someone they initially overlooked or took for granted, finding that person to be unpredictable and different from everyone else makes them think deeply about themselves. It's possible for the ego to wonder if there's any connection between the two. In the end, it makes them wonder why you don't follow the rules and act the way they expect you to. Narcissists need to be able to predict what their source of supply will do and how it will react. This gives them a sense of comfort and control. When the supplier doesn't follow this usual pattern, the narcissist becomes unexpectedly deeply focused on them. When the supply starts to act in ways that aren't expected, showing off its greater strength and resilience, it causes distress. The supply no longer fits nicely into the controlled box the narcissist made for them. This throws the narcissist off balance and makes them focus on how strong and unpredictable the supply is. For the narcissist, this unease often turns into an addiction. They can't stop thinking about the supply and asking themselves things like, why isn't the supply doing what we expect it to do? How did the supply become so formidable? Can they manipulate circumstances to regain control? These constant questions are always on the narcissist's thoughts. Because the narcissist is thinking about these things, they unintentionally send a lot of emotional energy into the supplier. Thinking about someone all the time for days, weeks, or even months shows that you have a strong mental connection to that person. This emotional state grows as the narcissist deals with the problems that come up because the supply isn't always steady. When people don't follow the script the narcissist has written for them, the narcissist often releases a lot of emotional energy onto those people. If someone beats or outsmarts the narcissist, they become emotionally invested in the person. Nasty people have a harder time getting away from other people once they become emotionally involved with them. This level of complexity makes things more tough. Because of this, it is best to stay away from narcissists and leave them with lots of things to think about. Playing tug of war with a narcissist might make you feel good for a short time, but it could turn into an obsessive obsession that is bad for your health. This kind of intense desire can make your life more and more toxic, making it harder and harder to handle over time. In the event that the narcissist becomes emotionally invested in you, it will be harder to end the connection. In the beginning, keeping your space and letting go of your ego are helpful. Getting into an exhausting loop of interactions with the narcissist may make them more emotionally attached to you, making it harder to get out of the relationship. The best way to deal with a narcissist who is giving you the quiet treatment is to act like they do. It's important to fight the desire to actively try to get their attention, because that can lead to bad things. If you give in to the urge to get their attention, you might hurt your pride and honor. Instead, it's suggested that you act like they don't care. If they act like they don't care about you, act the same way towards them. 
This method not only protects your self-respect, but it also keeps you safe from games that try to trick you. Understanding these factors is very important and shows that you need to make plans for how to leave. Being in these kinds of situations for a long time can be bad for your mental and emotional health. People who are narcissists think and act in specific ways, which are often motivated by their need to show control and confidence. But when things happen that they didn't plan for or can't control, they may focus more on the person or event involved. The fact that they have this tendency shows how complicated their thinking is and where they might be weak. In addition, narcissists may become obsessed with figuring out things they thought they knew but didn't. This need to be in charge all the time can be dangerous and mentally draining. The fact that narcissists want you to chase them after they turn you down is an interesting thing to deal with. Instead, avoiding them might make them want to get your attention if you do the same thing. If you decide to end the relationship, you need to be strong about it, no matter what they do or how hard they try to get you back. To protect yourself well, you need to understand how a relationship with a narcissist works. Now that you know how they think and how they try to control you, you can plan how to leave the bad relationship. Some people think that ignoring them back might work in the short term, but the long-term goal should be to end the bad connection completely. It is very important to put your mental and physical health first. When you understand how narcissists play mind games and manipulate others, you give yourself the strength to handle tough situations. If you thought this information was useful, please let us know by clicking the like button and subscribing for more. In the comments, you are welcome to share your ideas and thoughts. Be careful, and don't give up until we meet again.